hope it's a blip. Um, it needs to be a blip. But, you know, I, I am always opposed to airing our dirty laundry in public. And, you know, it's a team effort at Williams. And we have areas of weaknesses that we know where they are. This year may not, or the first half of it, may not deliver um, a, a huge change, but we are working on it and we believe the latter half and then going into 18 and 19 will be where our, our success probably reappears. something you'll be interested in. Those performance upgrades we discussed after the last race. They're on the car and the data looks promising. Take a look at the details. Monaco for this weekend's Formula One Grand Prix. It's a race that is truly steeped in history, but before the drivers turn their attention to winning, they first need to get through today's tricky practice session. Lowe's hairpin is the slowest corner of any track on the Formula One calendar. It's taken at just 48 kilometers an hour, but provides a stunning view on the first lap as the entire grid bunches up and tiptoes through the corner, hoping not to leave any carbon fiber parts behind. This is such a tight bend that a special steering rack is used just to get around this very corner, as the cars would not normally be able to make the turn. There is the possibility of overtaking through lows, but more often than not, you'll end up damaging your car. We're going to be logging some extra data during this session. Nothing you need to worry about, but as we have some new parts, we'll just confirm they're performing to spec. Stop. 
going over the data. Alright, let's make sure we're hitting those apexes. Once you're comfortable with the position through the corner, then start building up the speed. for consistency if you can chain good corners together. Great stuff, you've pretty much nailed this circuit. This is a really strong foundation to build from over the weekend. Who made the gossip columns this morning? Everyone's talking about this new rival you have. Check his stats out. Hi, how are you? I'm just passing on your qualifying goals for this weekend. Monaco for this afternoon's qualifying session which will be getting underway shortly. This is the kind of track that eats rear tyres for breakfast or so I'm told by more experienced drivers than myself. No matter how good a driver is at managing their throttle application to limit rear slip, they can't always overcome a car that's inherently bad at looking after its rear tyres. Here we have a lot of low speed corner exits which means a whole load of energy, heat and tyre wear. OK, you should be able to get into the next qualifying session easily, so try to get a hot lap in early so we can save the tyres. We're ready to go.
I got the money in my pocket But I'm happy so fuck it Yo, I'm feeling so fine I'll be drinking my wine Flying high like a rocket I got you, you got me Do you wanna join me? My drink is free I got you, you got me And we don't know where else we are oh, We got no problems to worry about now We got no others to break us down
got no money in my pocket But I'm happy so fuck it Yo, I'm feeling so fine I'll be drinking my wine Flying high like a rocket I got you, you got me Do you wanna join me? My drink is free I got you, you got me And we don't know where else to be oh, We got no problems to worry about now We got no others to break us down And as the drivers start thinking about getting a good start and how on earth to get through Sandovot in one piece, I have to wonder, Anthony Davidson, if we might be seeing a safety car or two today. Well, you wouldn't exactly bet against it, would you? Statistically, it is pretty common, of course. About 80% of all Monaco Grand Prix will have at least one safety car. And that's despite the incredible work of the marshals around here, who you'll often see lifting cars out of the way just under the yellow flag conditions. The teams will always plan for the worst case scenario though, and they'll be making sure various caution periods are built into their strategy models for the race. So before the off, let's remind ourselves of yesterday's qualifying session with a look at the starting grid. Sebastian Vettel has a clear track ahead of him today. He starts in pole position, and Max Verstappen lines up alongside. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Ocon, Hülkenberg, Kevin Magnussen, and Kvyat, Hamilton, Raikkonen, Bottas, and a Williams, Ricardo, Alonso, Sergio Perez, and Grosjean, Palmer, Sainz, Stoffel van Dorn, and Pascal Wehrlein, Ericsson, and Lance Stroll rounds off the grid. Now it's almost time to lights out, so let's go down to the track.
is now mine. Safety car, safety car. No overtaking. Reduce your pace. Keep your delta number positive as we form up.
soap.